Hey, good morning. Good morning. How's your day going? All right. All right, that's good, that's good. What's your name? Mari. Mari? How old are you, Mari? 38. Okay, okay. And what's your ethnic background? I'm Hispanic and Dominican. I can tell you was mixed with something. <laughs> um, so what brings you out here to Kensington, Philadelphia? Started getting high at a young age and um, I just got stuck out here. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from um, Alamy. Island? Island. Oh, Allen. Okay, okay, okay. Allen. Allen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. And what's your drug of choice? Heroin and cocaine. How often do you intake these drugs? Well, I was sober for like three months, and I just came back out here for like two months. But I've been doing drugs for like fifteen years. So on and off, on and off. What's the longest clean time you got? Three years. Three, okay, okay, that three years. All right, all right. Um, You got family in your corner that's fighting for you, helping you, trying to help you yeah, out at all? My daughter. Your daughter, she be trying to kick it for you, help you kick this addiction? Yeah, my mom. They rooting for you? Oh, uh, you know you got to do it for them. You have any children? Yeah, I got a 22-year-old and I got a 15-year-old. Oh, that's... That's a that's a that's a great thing to have. So, where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully not in Kensington. Mm -hmm. You gotta get back in your family life. Yeah, I'm about to move to Jersey, so hopefully when I move to Jersey, things will get better. Jersey's a a better spot. It's like people, places, and things. Once you get stuck out here, you're done. You're stuck out here. So, so besides getting drugs, what else do you do out here? Like we sleep out here. We watch people fight. Mm. We watch, like, we see, a, I, I see a lot of shit. I've seen motherfuckers OD, people going in their pockets while they dead, all that stuff. See some crazy stuff. What do you do out here to support your addiction? Oh, I hustle. You hustle? I, I, I sell drugs. Mm. Mm. Anything you get your hands on type stuff or? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Now, is it, I, I can only imagine it's hard out here to survive. Do you live out here? You got somewhere to go or you yeah, lay your head like, out here? Yeah, I'll be in and out like my mom's house, but because I'm getting high. You say you stay at your mom's house in and out or? Yeah, sometimes. But since I started getting high the last two weeks, I haven't been staying yet. Mm. Where, where you been staying at? Like around here. Mm. A lot of people stay out here. Right. And how is it? Is it scary? Hell yeah, it's rats, people can rape. Like, it's crazy out here. They go in your pockets. What's the craziest thing that happened to you? Oh, God. Thank God, nothing yet. Like, I got pistol whipped before, but it wasn't around here. It was down, eights and diamonds. Mm. Now, when's the last time you talked to your children? Well, I talk to them every day. Yeah, yeah. I talk to my kids every day. You got pistol whipped? Did you go to the hospital after that? Was it bad? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I got um the drugs like that we using now. Mm -hmm. Like they're putting all this stuff in it that um is giving people like infection in their blood. Mm -hmm. So I was in the hospital for like three months. Mm -hmm because I had infection in my blood and they could only treat it with IV. Mm -hmm. I see you got a bruise on your hand and your arm. What that came yeah, from? this is from using. It's from what, using? Mm -hmm. Oh, you inject? Mm-hmm. Oh my. How often do you inject? Well, I used to do it a lot, but the past like four months, I haven't been doing it really like that. You been snorting? Yeah. Ain't, isn't that dangerous with your nose? Cause it can like take your bone, like you know, take your bone out from your nose, mm -hmm. depending on what kind of drugs is in it. Yeah. You don't get scared. Does it hurt when you sniff sometimes at all? Like. Well, before it did, yeah, and then I started like. You ever had out. the nose bleed? I'm sorry. You ever yeah, had? The... It's like black shit coming out my nose. Yeah. Oh my god, I heard about that before. Mm -hmm. 
What will you tell a young person out here ripping and running the streets and just now starting to use drugs, like 16, 17, or 18? What, what advice would you give them? This ain't the life for you. All right. Do you see change for Kensington at all? I don't think so. Because it's not a lot of enforcement. Like, see, the shit is that they give them free food. Mm -hmm. They give them clothes. Mm. They give them like so. so they who can live the out hell here. is gonna? Why would they want to go so home? So they can and survive like, out here. Yeah, but like it's not. It's like, all right, it's it's still bad because they're giving them stuff. So there's like, what's the point? Like they're right. giving us everything we need. So what's the point of going mm -hmm. and getting help and like you know what I mean? Like we good. Ha have you have you ever got high to the point you saw yourself? Oh no. No, you don't get that high. I be seeing some addicts out here. They get that high. That like you see my friend. Yeah, why was she laid like that? Because she's hmm. yeah, she's really, really Have you ever robbed somebody for your addiction? No, I don't rob people. You don't rob, you don't steal, you, you keep good morals even though yeah, you have an addiction. I try. Yeah. Right, you don't do what other addicts do out here. Like I ain't never robbed my mom and shit. Like I can go to my mom's house, mm -hmm. like but there's a lot of people that can't, you know. Have you ever slept with a drug dealer for drugs? No. No? Some addicts do that. That's why I hustle though, because I can hustle anywhere. I'd rather hustle than sell ass. You you've never worked the ass. No. You you only hustle. Yeah. And 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 how much experience do you have hustling? You would say. I'm pretty good, I think. But I've been I, I've been hustling since I was like 12. Mm. Now, how is it ripping and running the streets and having to deal with the law behind you? Like, it's rough. Like, you gotta watch your back all the time. Then you gotta watch your back when you're sleeping out here. From these people, because they crooks, they'll rob you. Like, it's mm -hmm. bad out here. You gotta watch your back from the addicts and, and, the, and the law. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know, you got it rough out here. How how much sleep do you get a day? I haven't slept for three days. Wow. Today's my third day up. Wow. Now, with all the clean time you had, you know you can do this again. You can fight again and get up out of here. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I believe in you. You gotta trust the process and fight like you did before, right. so you can get back into your children's life. Yeah. I know your one, uh, your one child is is grown, but you know your other child needs yeah, you. She supports me. She helps me the most. Like she's there for me. Like. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And I don't lie to my kids about nothing. I do. You're an honest like I person. I gotta talk to them about it. Like, I don't want them to do what I did. So. Before your drug addiction, did you do a good job taking care of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I took care of my kids. I worked. I took care of my kids. I had a house. I lost all that. I did a home invasion. I went to jail. And after I went to jail the one time, it was like a domino effect. Right. Now, All Time Media, let it thank you for your time. You've been a wonderful interviewee. I'll pray for you. <laughs>